Good evening and thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Melissa Stevens. And I'm Terry McFadden. New tonight, things are a little sweeter in Three Oaks. Local artist Chris Stackowitz just finished an amazing candy mural on the exterior of a new candy store called Sweet on Elm. Monica Murphy spoke with the man behind the mural and joins us from the newsroom to tell us all about it. You know, Chris is a really talented artist in town. He is amazing. He says this is the sweetest project he's worked on and hopes it will draw people to the area. Take a look. This new candy mural in Three Oaks will blow you away. It's vibrant, jaw-dropping, creative, and stunning. You can find the mural at Sweet on Elm, which is a new candy store on North Elm Street. Local artist Chris Stakowitz says it took 56 days to paint it. I've never painted giant candy before, and I tell you, there's something fun about it. He painted the mural by hand. Stakowitz says it will be sealed any day now and should last 75 years. It's like a personality you jump into and a zone you get into when you're painting where you forget pretty much the whole world except what you're focused on. And then when you step back, you're like, whoa, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> had seen some of his work and just really was impressed with the other work he's done, so wanted him to come do this. On the mural, you will find lemon drops, smiley face banana candies, candy hearts, and rock candy. And the thing that I am most proud of on this whole mural is getting those gummy bears to actually look like gummy bears on a brick surface. Stakowitz also put some personal touches on the piece. My mom is a baker, and every year for Christmas, she always makes these absolutely amazing uh, chocolate mint brownies, and I wanted to honor her. The mural is a screenshot of what you will find inside the store. When you visit Sweet on Elm, be sure to try the ice cream, the variety of candy. Oh, and you have to make sure you try the cotton candy fudge. Mm. Thumbs up. Stackowitz says he hopes the mural will draw people to the area, but most of all, he just wants to bring people joy. So far, that's what we've seen come from this, like lots of people taking pictures in front of it, lots of kids, and I think it really is an eye catcher. And man, what a fun story tonight. So Melissa and Terry, I hope that you guys have a chance to check this out because I'm telling you what, it is a real treat. Yeah, and I guess they had to really twist your arm to try that fudge out. <laughs> I'm always talking about food in this newsroom. You guys know that. And so the fact that I could try something today was awesome. A little jealous. <laughs> right up your alley, Monica. All right, thanks a lot. Time now.